how's this entire experience been for you so far? This entire experience has been a combination of wonderful, horrifying, and <laughs> awesome, and then terrifying again. I mean, obviously the blind audition for me was, was really scary. Um, I woke up that with a cold that morning, so I wasn't my best. And then I, I thought I, you know, I hadn't sung for about three years. I hadn't been on stage, so I thought I was ready. I thought I, it would all click in when I got on stage, and I had a panic attack. So I'm literally holding on, you can't maybe tell by looking at it, but I'm holding on to that mic for dear life the whole time. And when Adam turned around, I literally had this banner flashing in my head. It's a mistake. It's a malfunction. He's going to regret it. And then he was still there. The music ended, and there he was. And I was in such shock. I mean, it was, it, that's when the wonderful came in. When I realized, oh my God, I'm on Adam's team. And then after that, I mean, the whole thing has been great. They treat you so beautifully. I really feel like it's a show where they, they want to keep it positive and they want you to feel good about yourself and they want you to get better. They don't want train wrecks. So for me, this experience is just, they're so humane and so kind and it's, it's been great. So what have you learned from Adam so far that you can share? From Adam, what I've learned from Adam so far is um, I need to get over my nerves. <laughs> I never, nerves never used to be an issue and then after having some time away from it and coming back, all of a sudden it's an issue, you know, and um, I think that he's, I'm, I'm I'm believing he's going to help me with that. I do think he's going to have some some practical advice for me. I mean, how could he not? He performs constantly, right. and he has to deal with this on a regular basis. So, um, and so far, the fact that he even heard something in me when I was not my best, when I wasn't really showing who I was as a singer fully, when I was kind of a mess, the fact that he could hear through all of that and hear something in me, I mean, tells me that we're meant to work together. I just, I have such respect for him and the way that he's chosen singers in general. He really hears past the nervousness in a way that I think some of the other the other coaches, not judges, some of the other coaches may not. And I feel like he, I don't know, like he's hearing something other people aren't, and a lot of people, and I appreciate that so much. I feel like that alone, I feel like he, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. I really do think, I think everything he says, he, know, he, he means what he's saying. It's not just for the camera. Any feedback he gives is thought out. And even if you don't get it when he's saying it, when you walk away, it clicks and you're like, yeah, he was right. <laughs> I mean, so far, he, he has been, I feel like, the coach that has displayed the most enthusiasm. I mean, last year, we saw what he did with Javier. He was basically baiting Blake to push his freaking button. He pushed two buttons this year. He, when he believes in you, he will believe in you. So, I mean, given that you are on this team and he's believing in all the people, does that make you look at these people and say, okay, we have something special here. What can we do to work with each other before we then have to go into the battle thing? Or is it kind of, are you more on your own? for with him are you in the process? I feel like um, we all get along really well. And I, I feel like, you know, I'm, first of all, my personality type is that I want to lift everyone up. I, I don't want to play games. I want everybody to be at their best. You know, and going into the battles, I want everyone to be at their best. I don't want it to be a matter of one person doing poorly and one person doing well. I feel right. like the battles are going to be great. Everyone does an amazing job, yeah. and it's a hard decision. On that. And I feel like as a team, we really work together. And I think that we've, we've helped each other out. I mean, I don't feel like there's a lot of cattiness, and um, I don't know. I feel like not only did he pick a diverse group of musicians who are all very different singers and they're all visually different, which he didn't know, obviously. Right. But he's he's picked people that are nice and are down to earth. I mean, we don't have anyone walking around, you know, with like dark sunglasses inside or, you know, like acting like, you know, they're the yeah. stuff. Like we're all real people. So I, I I don't know. His instinct is so good. It's crazy. Like I don't think there's another team I'd want to be on in terms of the combination of people and personality. Well, that's good. Yeah. But I know you mentioned that you had nerves earlier on. And how is that coming into play in terms of the battle rounds? I imagine the intensity is even more amped up there. Oh, you will see. <laughs> You'll have to tune in because honestly, going into the battle rounds, I know the two biggest things for me are nerves 
and um, confidence. I mean, and I know the two are intertwined, but I do believe that in order to not win necessarily, but do well at the battle, you have to walk onto that stage and be 100% confident. You cannot falter, you cannot look nervous, you cannot sound nervous. You have to just do what you're born to do up there with having nothing else interfering. And that's hard for me because coming out of the blinds, it's like my confidence was so shot. Because I did feel like, despite the fact that I got through it and it wasn't so bad, it wasn't my best moment. And for me personally, it was just, you know, it was a little embarrassing that I, I wasn't doing what I do. And um, so I, I feel like that kind of beyond the nerves, which is something I have to conquer, is the confidence, getting my confidence back and realizing that, you know, I, I have this other shot to like show what I do and I don't want to squander it, you know. So going into the battle rounds, nerves, confidence, and not being scared to death, so I'm just stuck in my spot like, you know, frozen deer in the headlights. Right. Yeah. Did you know the song that they gave you, that Adam gave you, or was it something that you were unfamiliar with and had to learn? Well, I think I should win. Okay. Tune in and you'll see. <laughs> That's fun. Well, assuming you move forward, is there any song that you'd like to sing on The Voice? Oh, God, there's there's a whole long list of songs, obviously. You know, and I don't want to give them away, it's just, you know, just in case I make it further, I don't want to give them away. But I, I, I love a variety of things, you know. I love traditional country. I love standards. I love indie artists like Feist. And, you know, of course I love, like, as I've said, I think it's something and I'm obsessed with Dolly Parker. So, you know, I love a variety of things, and there's so many songs I would love to do and just kind of turn them on their head a little bit and give them like a different, different feel. So, I have a lot of things in mind. You got some lines cooking. I hope I'll make it far enough so I can actually put some more in my life. So, here we got some more.